Yes. 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 Yes.
Yeah, she's busy. <laughs> so it's something. Amen. This is a very special occasion for me um, because uh, many of you may not know, but when I first joined the Semi Church, it was here at Mapping Yeah. Amen. Amen. And it wasn't in this building. The sanctuary was back there. Yes, the sanctuary, the far stand, uh, and so uh, and I and yeah. I would not have joined Macintosh if it had not been for my for my mom. Amen. So I believe. I joined Macintosh. I, I, I'm dating myself from back in <laughs> 1986 or so. Yeah, you still young. I'm still, I'm still young. You still you young. And, and so, um, and then it was in this sanctuary right here where I accepted my call to preach and, and delivered my first sermon. Amen. Amen. And so, God has a way of just blessing you and bringing things back around. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes. I learned so many things here at this church. <laughs> and so it's a joy to have. Uh, I think about the times when uh, under the pastor, the pastoral leadership of Jane Smith, and we used to always fellowship. Restore Chapel. Mm -hmm. And Reverend John Burnett. Yes, yes. Bless his heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now I mean to be pastoring to Restore Chapel. Awesome. Awesome. Look at God. Right. Yes. Yeah. Look yeah. at God. Yes, yes. And so, uh, Stuart Chapel family, if you just wave your hand, Stuart Chapel in the house, Stuart Chapel. <laughs> And also, uh, my two oldest children. Yes. <laughs> Emerald, wave your hand, Emerald. Yes. And, and Danielle. Yes. They were little girls in the Amazing. Amen. We thank God for them being able to come. And, yes. and, and Emerald is here with her fiance. Amen. 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 And uh, I certainly can't leave you out, Grandma Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And um, thank you for indulging me for this moment because this is very special. Amen. Yes. And then to look over and see Reverend Darnay. Awesome. <laughs> you. Um, after uh, some time here at Macintosh, I went and joined Christian Chapel under the leadership of Dr. Jerome mm -hmm. O'Neill, mm -hmm. and uh, where I met Reverend Dara Ingram, and she's been such a joy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a word of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Found in the book of James. James, the fifth chapter. Okay. Beginning at the fifth verse. Okay. I will be reading from the New Internet, uh, New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. We find these words. <laughs> be patient, therefore, brothers and sisters, until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious crop from the earth being patient with it until it receives the early and the late rains. You also must be patient, strengthen your hearts for the coming of the Lord is near. Brothers and sisters, do not grumble against one another so that you may not be judged. See, the judge is standing at the doors. As an example of suffering and patience, brothers and sisters, Take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. Indeed, we call blessed those who have showed endurance. You have heard of the endurance of Job, 
And you've seen the outcome that the Lord brought about. For the Lord is compassionate and merciful. Okay. For a moment of your time, I'm going to use as a thought this morning, don't run out of patience. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Don't run out of patience. Out of patience. Yeah. 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 Let us pray. Yeah. Everlasting God, the creator of heaven and earth and the maker of all mankind. Mm. Speak, speak to me now, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope in my Lord of all time. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer, in Jesus' name I do pray. Amen. 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 Before I go any further, I need to recognize my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 
Yes, yes. I, I, I pray for the joy because the joy of the Lord is my strength. I'll pray for those things. Yeah. But what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is pray for peace. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Yes, because if I pray, pray for patience, God will answer my prayer. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. God will put me in situations in which my patience will be tested. Yes. Yeah. That's the brother. God will put me in situations where people will get on my last nerve. Hey. If I pray for patience, yeah. when I go to the refrigerator for to drink some orange juice, uh oh, they know. <laughs> they know, or there's just a little cool. <laughs> a lot of sugar in the jug. Yeah, not for taste. <laughs> and it's doing enough for me to take my, my pressure meds. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm a, I'm a senior citizen now. I don't take blood pressure. I don't have enough to take my pressure man. Yes, 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 yes. If I pray for patience, I will be tested time and time again that I may grow in my patience. Yes, yes. Beloved, that's not a bad thing. It's not. The process that encourages us to grow in patience is not designed to make us better. It's designed to make us better. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. The process. Yeah. The process that encourages us to grow in our patience it, it involves. It is a quality that we should all embody on our journey of faith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. On this third Sunday of Advent. We wait with great anticipation for Christ's return. Yes. Yeah. James, the half-brother of Jesus, wrote this epistle around the year 62. And it had been roughly about 29 years since Jesus had died and been resurrected and ascended back to his father. Yeah. And so there was a sense of immediacy that Christ was coming back at any moment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 About 2,000 years have come and gone, mm -hmm. and we're still waiting for Christ's return. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 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 Some would ask, why has it taken so long? Mm -hmm. And the answer to that question is simple. Yeah. God is patient. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah. Yeah. God is patient. With us. Yeah. God is waiting for more and more people in the world to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Hey. As, our, as we celebrate friends and family, I pray that you're sharing the good news of Jesus Christ with your love. That's it. Yeah. 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 Because each day is closer and closer to the day of our salvation. Yeah, each day. Yeah. Yes. No one knows no. when Jesus is coming back again. No. Not even the Son of Man knows on the day that he will come. Yes, yes. But I want to encourage you today, brother. Don't run out of patience. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus is coming back again. Oh, yes. In our lectionary text this morning, we see a constant refrain of the word patience. Okay. The problem that many of us have with patience is that it involves no intervention on our part. There is nothing that we can do to speed things along. Say it. That's it. What is really unsettling for us are times when we are forced to be patient while we're at the mercy of others that are moving like molasses. Oh. Oh. Come on, y'all. But James comes to our aid at this point. Yes. And he encourages us to grow in our faith. Yes, yes. In, in his letter, James is telling those early Christians the importance of being patient mm -hmm. while they wait on Christ's return. Yes. And to illustrate this point, he then shares about a story about a farmer 
that demonstrates patience as he plants seeds and he waits for the early and the late rains. Okay. Yes, yes. yes sir. In this illustration, the farmer understands that in their vocation of farming, somebody say vocation. Vocation. In their vocation of farming, there's a process that needs to take place from the time of sowing yes. to the time of reaping. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the farmer understands. Uh, yeah, the, the farmer cannot make the seeds germinate into seedlings and grow into full grown crops. The farmer cannot rush the process. The farmer needs to trust the process no matter how long it takes. Some of you may be asking, what do I have to do with a farmer in the year 62? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's a good question. Mm. Consider this. When we accepted Jesus Christ as Lord over our lives, we were called to a new vocation. Yes, we were. Yes, we were. Yeah, and vocation in the Latin language means calling. God has placed a calling on each of our lives. Yeah. Just like that farmer. As Christians, we have a calling, and we need to we need to have patience in every aspect of our lives. Yeah. Yeah. Patience as we wait for Christ's return. Yeah. Patience when it comes to dealing with difficult people. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. That's word, yeah. Yeah. Patience when it comes to dealing with some of our friends and family members. Yeah. Patience in dealing with trying circumstances. Well, yeah. Yes, sir. Patience when it involves suffering. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We may not like having to go through discomfort. We may not like having to go through emotional pains that come with being patient. Okay. Because patience involves shed, shedding some tears sometimes. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Patience involves some dark midnights sometimes. Yes, yes, yes. It can even cause us to get ahead of ourselves and take matters and draw our own hands. But I want to encourage you, beloved, on today, I encourage you to, to keep praying, yes. keep believing, keep trusting, keep toiling, keep waiting. Yes, yes. For yes. consolation yes. and for the yes. But the letter says, we are called blessed. Those of us that have been doing. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's right. Beloved. God has not called us to something that he doesn't help us to achieve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When we allow the Holy Spirit to take a residence in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, we can resist the fleshly urges that desire instant gratification. Yes, uh yes. -huh. Yeah. Yeah. We also have individuals that have modeled the behavior that we can emulate. And James gives us an example in verse 11. James brings to our attention the endurance of Job. Yes. We all familiar with Job. Mm -hmm. we are. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've met a person in the world that wants to trade places with Job. No, no. Sir. no. Right. no. Because Job had to endure some heartaches and some pain. Yes, Job had to endure the loss of his children. Job had to endure the loss of his livestock. Job's health began, began to fail, and Job lost everything that he had. Yes, he did. Yes. Mm. And his friends. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Weren't support. Mm. Mm. Through the whole time. His no. friends. We're very critical of uh -huh. And Job's wife told him to curse God and die. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Through it all, Job never stopped trusting in God. Despite of the loss, despite of the pain in his body, despite of the criticism from others, Job said, though he slay me. Yet yeah. 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 will I trust him. Yeah. When we completely trust God, we are able to wait on God. Yeah, yeah. While we wait on God, 
We understand that God is working things out behind the scenes. I don't know when, I don't know how, I don't know who God is going to use, but I believe. Just as that farmer is waiting for that seedling to break through the surface of the soil, we too are to wait for our own Yes. We can't rush the process. We need to trust the process. Yes. We are not on, on our own time schedule. We are on God's time schedule. Yes. It is not in our hands. It is in God's hands. Yes. Yes. I've learned over the course of my life the times when God required me to wait, it was for my good. Yes. Yes. There have been times when I was waiting anxiously to see if I would get that loan approved. <laughs> there are times when I waited with great anticipation for that job offer. Yeah. There are times when I waited for great anticipation for that long way of promotion that was going to make everything, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything great in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In each of those situations, God was preparing me to receive that which he was going to put into my hands. Yeah. 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 We have to trust the process mm -hmm. that God is working things out for our good. Yeah. Yeah. There were times when that promotion didn't come. Mm -hmm. Well, there were times when maybe that, that offer I put on the house was rejected. Yes, come on. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the no that we receive in life is actually a blessing from God. There can be a blessing in receiving a no. Yes, it can. Now, I, I hope you understand that. I hope that is going in your head. Because if you, if you understand that there's a blessing in, in hearing a no, then you have gone to another level of spiritual truth. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're waiting on. <laughs> I don't know how long you've been waiting for your change to come. Yeah, yeah. But I want to encourage you today, don't run out of patience. Continue to trust the process. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you continue to hold on, there is a blessing that has your name on it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, James has said that we are blessed when we have shown endurance. Yeah. But also another writer comes to our aid. It's a prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 40 and 31 has told us uh, that they that wait upon the Lord yeah, yeah. shall renew their strength. They say, my Lord will raise that eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Yeah, yeah. Don't run out of patience, beloved. Be patient in adversity. Be patient in suffering. Be patient as you deal with the issues of life. Yeah, yeah. Be patient while we wait on the second coming yeah. of our Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give up on God, love it. Yeah. Don't throw in the towel on God because God is a good God. Yeah. God has never left us. God has never forsaken us. God has, will be with us always, even to the end of the world. It was David that said, I was for sure. And now I know that I've never seen my righteous forsaken, nor a seed begging for bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think it was here in McIntosh when I first heard the phrase, he may not come when you want. That's it. But he's always right on time. All right, all right. So, beloved, while we continue to wait on the Lord's return, yeah. keep praying. Yeah. Keep talking. Mm -hmm. Keep loving. Mm -hmm. Keep trusting. Keep serving. Keep teaching. Keep witnessing. Keep praising. Yeah. Yeah. And I just believe that if we keep our hands in God's hands, yeah. we, we won't go weary no. and well doing. No. We won't run out of patience. And we will be able to see, like the old songwriter has said, I don't feel no ways tired. Yeah, yeah. I've come too far. From where I started from. Nobody told me yeah. the way to be easy. I don't believe he's got me this far. Believe me. God will not leave you high and dry. God will not leave you to your own devices. God is a windmaker. God is a sustainer. God is my company. Keep 
running, running beloved. Yeah. Yeah. Keep running. Yes, and as the old folks said, keep running. Yeah. I'm going to keep running to see what they are doing. Will you give God another hand clap for praying? Never run out of patience. That's something that we should pray for. To never run out of patience. Lord, thank you for having patience for us. Thank you for having grace and mercy for us. Thank you for allowing us just yes, another day when we messed up. Yesterday, you gave us another day. When we mess up today, you'll probably give us another day tomorrow. Thank you for your endless mercy, your endless grace, and your endless patience right now. Thank you, Lord. Please stand. The altar is open. For anyone that, that's looking to establish establishing a relationship with Jesus Christ, if you know you do not have the correct relationship with Jesus Christ, right now is the time. This morning is the moment. This is the place where you should not leave the same way you came. Yeah. Will there be one? Yeah. If you just need to have someone stand in the gap for you, just to pray with you or pray for you, right now is the time. You can come up to the altar. We invite you to. But if you want to, you can just raise your hand and we'll come to you. We'll come to you. There's someone in the back that's asking for prayer. If you need prayer, you just want somebody just to stand in the gap with you. We'll do that for you. I went down to the deepest valley. Looked all around down there, couldn't find nobody. Yes, Thank you. 
was the Macintosh and a little the plane was the opposite of Macintosh and a little the plane. So, Now, do we have any more visitors in the house? Please, we're not going to try to put you on blast or anything this morning, but we just want you to know that we love you. Now, two names that I have is Miss Diane Thompson. Miss Diane, stand up, girl. Oh, <laughs> Give us that. Miss oh, oh, <laughs> Diane came yesterday morning when it was early and left yesterday afternoon when it was late. Giving out toys, cleaning, helping me. I said, Miss Diane, we're we done. She said, oh, you have us here. You need to work us, bro. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma and I thank you for, uh, for coming and being a part. Then we have Miss uh, Marquita. I said her name wrong yesterday. She forgave me. So y'all have her. Uh, y'all thank God for her. Miss Marquita. Yeah. I, I bet you. See yeah. it. I didn't want to be tell you. I was about to chop that up. Miss Martina, thank you so much for coming out today, but thank you so much for coming out yesterday and being a part of the uh, toy giveaway on yesterday because God bless us. Yeah. Mr. Sandra McLaughlin, raise your hand, Mr. Sandra. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you so much for coming out and being a part of the service today. I really appreciate you. We are so happy to have you to be a part. Usually we have like a visitor's uh, reception, but we're not having it today because we have food in the back. Amen. Okay. So make sure that when we uh, let service out today, that we're going to make sure that we have food in the back for everybody. Amen. 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 At this time, we want to allow, if all hearts and minds are clear, we're going to allow Pastor uh, Jones to please come up and give us the last word to bless the food and to dismiss us. Yes. Amen. Thanks again to the uh, Macintosh Church family Amen. and also. Um, Luke McLean, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you so much for your hospitality and showing that you've shown toward us as soon as we cross through the thresholds. Amen. Let us go to the Lord. Everlasting God, we thank you, Lord, for what our eyes have seen, what our ears have heard, what our hearts have felt. Mm -hmm. 
We pray, Lord, that you will bless the food that we receive for the nourishment of our bodies. Bless the those that prepare the food, and, and that we pray that it will strengthen us in all goodness. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hence now and forevermore. And the church said, Amen. Amen. Amen.